Here we got a nice middle class neighborhood that's ripe with opportunities to steal. Back in the day, this was not the guy you wanted rolling up on your house. I am known as the biggest jewel robber in the United States to this day. Larry Lawton stole $18 million worth of jewelry, spent 12 years in federal prison. Now, I am the only ex-con in the United States who's an honorary police officer. Congress recognized him for helping kids stay out of trouble. And he's showing us how to keep criminals out of your home. The main criminal I think most people worry about is the drug addict who's going to steal something out of your house to sell it for drugs. And that guy looks for easy access, like an unlocked gate. Open it and come on in. And now we are protected from anybody seeing us. The criminal will go to the first window he sees. The first thing I would do is I would have a sign on this window saying, off-site monitoring. Off-site is key. Make them think someone is watching somewhere else. Is a dummy sticker just as good? Absolutely, it's perception. Remember, criminals don't want to be seen. These fences, they're hiding the criminals. So would you say don't put up a fence like this? No, no, have a fence. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having a fence, but what I would do is I'd have sensor lighting. That might make the crook run before he gets to your sliding glass door. I could See what I just did? The thief can take that door off its track and walk right in. Easy fix. You can go to Ace Hardware or whatever hardware stores there are, and there's a thing that would make it where you can't lift it up. Now that the crook's inside, Larry says the first stop is usually the bedroom. He wants small things that are easy to grab. That would look great here. Jewelry and credit cards are as good as cash. What do I do with that stuff? Right here. If you want to hide and make things difficult for the drug addict criminal, you want to put this maybe in a drawer. And here's a cheap and easy way to stop a bad guy from climbing in through the window. Add some stoppers that only allow that window to go up so far. Small house, big house, the rules for keeping out the common criminal are the same. But back in his career criminal days, Lawton would have done some damage here. All of that furniture would be going out. Take this armoire, those bar stools. I would steal this so quick your head would spin. Professional thieves come prepared. Or a person who wants to really expand on their opportunity would get a 23-foot rider renter truck, pull it right up to a, a house like this, and load it with all the high-end furniture, silverware, artwork. Take it from someone who knows. Don't be reactive, be proactive. Little things can stop a burglar. Dana J, Fox 35 News. Huh, hello? Hit the mother load.